Welcome back to another exciting video by me, your host, Kurt. And in this video here, I am going through what I what devices I use with my Chromebook when I make it more into a desktop um, setting. So in this case here, as you can see, I'm in my garage filming this because of the overhead lighting that I have is far better here in my garage than it is where I would normally have this set up in my house. So let me quickly go through the devices here, here, here in front of you. So the first thing as you can see is there's a monitor and this monitor is a 27 inch monitor. Any monitor will work as long as you have the proper connections. But this particular monitor has a VGA and DVI and an HDMI connector. So I got all three bases covered here. Also I have a wireless uh, mouse and keyboard um, and obviously the Chromebook and then the power supply for the Chromebook. I do have a power supply for the monitor monitor needs to be powered as you can see over here i have an hdmi cable you really don't need one that's 12 feet long possibly six feet or smaller would be suffice i also have my type c hub which is the brain or the, all the connections to connect all these devices into your chrome and sitting below the hub is a external hard drive on a usb i will go through some of these devices in more detail especially this hub here so let's get to see the next part of the video and please ignore the annoying transition that's going to happen here in a second. All right, so here, let me go over my uh, Type-C hub. As you can see, it is a Type-C, and that's what I have on my Chromebook. My Chromebook has two Type-C female uh, connections that I can uh, use. Um, in this case here, I have a Hutu. Uh, you can find there's so many of these different manufacturers have so many different options with these. I just happen to pick this one here, throw, you know, throw a dartboard on your screen, and... Boom, that's the one I decided to take. So let me go through this real quick here. So again, it's a type C. Let me flip this thing over here. And you can see here, you can't see the words on here, but this is DC in. So you can connect this to your Chromebook. Also connect your Chromebook power supply into this. Scope that out. Into this and power your Chromebook at the same time because this is consistent. This can handle up to 100 watts. So if you're a person who only has one type C connection on your Chromebook, you got it covered because you can power and also connect all your devices and using this particular uh, model here. And the vast majority of models of these type of T type C hubs, they do have the ability to power and also connect additional devices. So let's go here. Let me turn this thing around here. And this is the, the monitor connection here. As you can see here, this is an HDMI monitor connector. Again, there's, there's so many of these manufacturers out here that have so many different types of options. It, 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 it you know, it's, I can't even talk about it, it's too many freaking things. But anyway, in this case here, I have an HDMI uh, connection here. They do also come with VGA. I haven't seen one yet with a DVI, then I re didn't really pay attention to it because who uses v DVI anymore? Anyway, so I see a lot of these that have HDMI and VGA. I also see that they have HDMI and Ethernet. They also have um, HDMI and VGA. Some of these might have two HDMI uh, connections on it. And all of them usually come with some form of USB connection. In this case, I have three here, and also I have these small little SIM cards, SD cards, whatever the hell you want to call them, that you usually find like in dash cams or in your phone. Now, I have a dash cam, and I use the smaller one up here. It works fine. Once I plug it in, it pops up on my Chromebook. I'm ready to go to download videos. So, in the next in the next portion of this video here, I'm going to have all this crap here connected up, and then you can see how it works. So here you have it. Here's my setup here. Now, normally, this hub here hanging out in front of you it sits in behind here, so, you know, I'm just doing this for demonstration purpose. So let's go through what kind of crap here I have connected here. As you can see down here, let me push this into view a little better. This is a, uh, you know, my uh, external hard drive is connected here. This is my USB connection for the keyboard and mouse that's hanging out here. Um, also here, uh, here's a little uh, a USB to type C. This enables you to, if you want to, you can use this to charge your phone. As you can see from here, it's charging. We'll unplug that. Also, as you can see in the back here, this is where the DC comes in. Like I said before, this is a, this hub can handle 100 watts. This is actually the power supply for the Chromebook that comes in here. It's actually charging the Chromebook, and as you saw before, it charged the phone. Let me move that out of the way here. We don't need that anymore. Now, one thing I like to point out here is the spacing in here. Damn it! What the hell happened there? You can see it popped up HDMI. So I want to um, point out the spacing. The spacing here is a little tight. So when you plug in your devices, you might have to move them around a little bit. 
But one thing I also want to point out is you just don't want to remove uh, like your hard drives or USB devices that you might add add into this. Because we look here, right below here, this is the, the, the Western Digital hard drive. There's a little icon here, and that icon right above my pointer is to remove it. So before you remove this, if you just take this out, the Chromebook will pop up a little message saying, whoa, uh, you know, what are you doing? Uh, you know, we just bring our mouse over to whatever the hell my mouse is, but let's show you something here first. Look, see, look at it. Let's go ahead and eject. Now you see it's gone, and now you can remove your, your uh, storage device from the Chromebook. Now, one other thing I want to point out is that you should be powering your Chromebook as you have your monitor and have all these other bloody devices that you like to connect to everything. Um, and I recommend that you do get a extension cable. I don't use a, um, a power strip. I just use an extension cable that uh, you see here. And But just well, look at that, man. You're talking about a mess. Um, make sure it has three prongs because some monitors have a three prong, but this monitor has a two prong and obviously the, the Samsung power supply is a two prong too. And I guess my, um, keep on losing it, huh? Yeah, that's why, but we don't care, right? Like I said before, this is usually behind, so you don't get that type of flicking here, but that's a good, uh, good demonstration of, uh, some glitches you might see now and then. Uh, so you just make sure this is tight. Your HDMI cable is tight and just put it somewhere where you're not really touching it as much as I'm touching. Apparently, I got a touching problem with my devices. Um, so as you can see here, everything works. The keyboard does work. Uh, let me see here. Let me go to Chrome and let's just uh, type. And you can see there uh, the keyboard is working. Uh, this particular keyboard, I mean, I can control some, some devices here can be controlled um, uh, through some of these soft keys up here. This is not a Chromebook specific keyboard i think it's more designed for your windows but you know whatever uh the mouse works as you've seen before let's just get rid of this we don't need that um so here this is this is my setup when i want to have a semi desktop uh setup here so with that this concludes this fantastic painfully viewing video i uh, hope you people have a very healthy and wonderful day goodbye